All right, so this is going to going to be our uh, shorter one, um, dealing with twists and confidence for the week. So uh, let's go ahead and take it seated, whatever's comfortable for you. Um, get comfortable, Sukhasana, easy seated pose. So our back is long, <sighs> the back of our neck is long. Just let things kind of Come down to our mat. Let it let it stop spinning for a second or a minute or 10 minutes, whatever we need it. Deep breath in, exhale it out. Okay. All right. Take your left hand and Take it to your belly and uh, specifically the space below your rib cage above your belly button. Okay. Um, if you are into chakras, uh, that would be your solar plexus. If you are not into chakras, that will be your space below your rib cage above your belly button. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you're into, that's what it is. Okay. So. With your left hand there, take your right hand, reach it up and over, inhale, look under your arm, press your right hip into the ground. Swing your right arm down, take it now, switch. So take it to that space, your right hand, left arm goes up, inhale, exhale down, switch. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. All right, so let's go ahead and let's just take our arms up above our head like we have this big beach ball, okay? Drop our shoulders down, imaginary beach ball. Let's just take it and just do a nice twist over to the right and then just let your hands fall wherever they fall and don't force it okay a couple of breaths here reach your arms back up grab your beach ball take it to center reach it up high and then take it over to the left drop it down so if we are talking uh, solar plexus chakra it's essentially we're talking confidence right so if you want that to be your theme or intention for the practice, it's there. If you don't want anything, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do, okay? All right, reach it up. Reach, reach, reach. Okay, let's take our hands down. Bring our knees out in front of us, okay? Um, our knees are bent, toes are about hip width apart, okay? Making number 11, our feet, okay? And we're just going to slowly sit back, lift our legs up if we want, engage our low belly, pull your low belly back. We're in a nice boat pose with bent knees, hands to heart center, okay? And then we're just going to take our palms over to the left, pulling our low belly in as we do that, back to center, inhale to the right, exhale to center, inhale to left, exhale to center. Inhale to right. Keep your knees straight. You want, you can extend out your call. I'm going to keep mine bent though. Couple more. All right, take it to center. Uh, grab your knees, come onto your bum. Let's take it to uh, tabletop, okay? So knees are under hips, our wrists are under shoulders. Extend your right leg out, po toes pointing straight forward, okay? Left hand, we're gonna just take it into the, between that space we made, bend our right elbow, come down into our left shoulder and our, our ear, head, side of our head. Support ourselves with our right hand, okay? It's a little stretch here. All right, press yourself up, switch sides. Right leg comes in, left leg goes out. 
right arm goes in between that space. Lower yourself down. Press yourself back up. Bring your left leg back in. Take your right leg and bring it between your hands so we're setting up for low lunge here. Okay, take your toes and you can kind of make some space if you want to. Your call here, get your, get your low lunge foundation strong before you rise up. Inhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna sweep them open towards the right. Jazz hand it if you want. Why not, right? It's always fun. <laughs> okay, reach your arms back up, back to heart center. Plant your hands and let's just roll our bum back so we're starting to straighten that front leg. Keep your toes glued to the front of the mat and then we're gonna slowly roll up onto our heel. Do a nice Arda Hanumana. I can never say that one. It's half monkey pose. Hanumana. Arda Hanumana. Half monkey. Back is flat. Fingertips at your knees. I always am going to attempt to say it and then it comes out not appropriately. So I apologize. I will work on that. Okay. Come forward. Right leg goes down. Left leg goes to center. Same thing here. Get yourself... Get yourself stable before you rise up, always, right? Left knee is over left ankle. Pull your low belly in and then bring yourself up. Sink into that. You can uh, put your left thumb into your left hip crease and pull that back a little bit and then just sink in a little bit more. Pull your low belly back. Reach your arms up, hands go to heart center. Let's open it up, a twist to the left now. Bring it back, take your hands down, keep your foot glued to the mat, bring your bum back, start to straighten your left leg, and then roll onto your left heel, lift it up. Half monkey. Flex your toes if you want a little, a little bit deeper in the back of your calves there. Okay. Walk it forward, bring your left leg back. Now, next pose. Take your left leg and then just kind of pick up your toes and kickstand them to the side. Bring your left arm in just a little bit more, maybe like two or three inches um, towards your left knee. And then we're gonna take our right leg extended out to the side like we did when we were in tabletop earlier. Toes are pointing straight forward, right arm comes up okay so I like to bring right hand to right shoulder just to remind myself open up through this chest okay our shoulders are stacked okay pull your low belly in and start to lift up your right leg if you want okay this is like a kneeling Ardha Chandrasana or um, half moon kneeling pose okay if you want you do not have to. You can bend your leg and reach for the top of your right foot. It's always an option, not a requirement, okay? I'm not even going to keep doing it. I'm just going to keep it like this. Okay, one more breath. Make it meaningful. <laughs> Take your hand down. Roll onto your knees. And let's take a either puppy or child's. I'm gonna do a child's here. Okay, I'm ready for the other side. Tabletop, kickstand, right foot. Drag your right hand in towards your right knee, just a couple inches. Extend your left leg out. So toes are pointing straight forward left arm reaches up stack your shoulder left hand to left shoulder left hand reaches to sky now i'm going to lift up my left leg so it's about parallel to where my hips are take the bind here if you want
flex your toes. One more breath. Lower your knee, lower your leg. Child's. The last one. Okay, roll up. All right, everyone. Thank you for this quick practice. If you want to take Shavasana, please feel free to do so. Thank you again, everyone. May you be okay. May you be healthy. May you be free from suffering. May you continue to be awesome. May you progress. Namaste. Thanks, everyone. Uh, there will also be a longer version of this, too, if you have a little bit more time. Okay. See you later. Take care.